Well, last week we had an amazing full moon, and when the sky is clear, it's surprising what you can see in the night sky and see it even better with a telescope. But if you don't want to make the investment, just use your library card. Rebecca Ransberger from the Toledo Lucas County Public Library System is here to tell us how to reach for the stars. Good morning, Rebecca. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. So this is a, a, a new program, right? Tell me a little bit about um, you. People can check out telescopes. <laughs> Yeah, so um, it's been around for a little bit while, but um, due to COVID, it was on pause. So we're relaunching it. And we're really excited because the Toledo Astro Astronomical Association was able to donate these telescopes so that people can learn a little bit more about astronomy in space, um, especially with no cost through the library. So if you've basically, I would imagine you just have to be a member of the library, you don't know, have your library card. How do people go about checking them out? Exactly. So you'll go ahead and contact the library and we can go ahead and place a reservation for you. You just need a library card, um, children's or adult, and we'd be glad to help you start looking at space. So how long can you keep these for? I would imagine that you don't have a ton of them, so we want to make sure that everybody gets a, gets a chance here. Sure. We have about seven telescopes right now, and you can check them out for seven days. So you have a week, which is fantastic because sometimes the sky doesn't quite agree with you. So you can check out your star map, your sky at night, and find out what's visible and when you're able to see the best view of space. And, you know, I would imagine that parents should probably maybe be involved in this whole uh, checkout process for the kiddos who might want to come into the library and say, I want one of those, but th they're probably kind of expensive, right? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that what's so great about this is there's so many resources and learning opportunities with the telescopes that it's a great family activity. It's great for all ages. We have tons of resources beyond just the telescopes that you can learn about space. So, you know, the whole family can join in. Yeah. So if you check out the telescope, you might want to check this, you know, the, the space or the astronomy section of the library to get some books to go along with it, right? Yeah, exactly. And we have online resources as well. We have articles, magazines, databases, ebooks, um, tons of opportunities where you can access it from home as well. Do you have, and we're looking here at the screen, the places where you can get one, I guess. Do you have the telescopes at all the branches or select branches? Just select branches. So we have them at Kent and King Road, Oregon and Sanger, Sylvania and West Toledo. And we actually just got our telescope at Maine um, ready to go as well. So we've got several locations that you can stop by. So seven of those telescopes uh, that, that are kind of up for grabs, you can have them for a week at a time. Talk a little bit about the process of checkout and things with the library because I know some of the branches were closed and then reopened and closed, reopened again. What is the process like right now? Right. So we are currently um, open for browsing, which is very exciting. Um, we do recommend that if you want to borrow a telescope to call ahead to one of the branches that has one. Um, so that way we can make sure that it's available for you and we can place it on hold and then what happens is you can come into the branch check it out um, it's a rather large kit so make sure you um, are expecting you know to to be <laughs> able to get that to a, a car to take home um, and then you have that seven days yeah kids you might you not be able to carry it, it on well. your bike with you right <laughs> you have to yeah it's a little much <laughs> it's cold outside anyway so um, but as we said you know we've had uh, some some beautiful uh, full moons to check out and also all the different constellations and stars and things that kids and adults can enjoy and learn a bit a little bit about as well and as you said there's a lot of stuff online too at people's fingertips that can go right along with this yeah, definitely. And there's actually a couple links inside the kit that show you um, where you can look to see what you can see in your region. Right now, Mars and Mercury are really visible, and the moon is really great to work, look at right now. Um, so those websites are really helpful, so that way you can get the best experience while you're outside, especially because it's a little cold right now. Yes, through the window, I think, would make it great if you got a great, right. a great window. That would be a great location for that. All right, Rebecca, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yep.